Hey guys, we are back for another video. So giving you all an update on the situation with Scrappy, Mama D, and Bambi. So, well, let me go back. So Scrappy wasn't really a part of it, but as you guys know, because I reported it in my last video, um, Mama D and Bambi, was going back and forth online. Now, Scrappy jumped in to, you know, make, you know, basically say, you know, he's he's taking the high road, but let's just kind of unpack this a little bit. Um, the reason why I've included Erica and Sierra, because I don't know if you guys saw the episode of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, but Erica and Sierra were definitely a part of the equation and i will let you guys know <laughs> in a moment how they tie um into the foolery if you guys watched the last episode of love and hip-hop atlanta you saw erica and sierra just going in on scrappy and it was just really hard to watch to see two women that look to be very miserable themselves because as we know Erica and Safari are no longer together. They divorced. And it just seems like Erica is just mad about that situation still. And it really seems like she's taken a lot of her frustrations out that she actually has with her ex-husband on Scrappy because it just looks really crazy for Erica to jump up on a table and be in another grown man face about his marriage when she couldn't even keep hers together. So let's just jump right into it. As we all know, um, Bambi and Mama D went back and forth um, several times online. Um, and I showed you guys the video yesterday with regards to, um, you know, the back and forth. So just go and check out that video to kind of bring you up to speed. So if you're watching this video, you're going to have to go back and watch that video um, from yesterday to, to know exactly um, what I am referring to. And let me just see what the, I don't even recall what was the name of that video. Okay. So that video is titled Bambi is going to jail. Mama D claims Bambi is committing fraud. So go back and watch that video. It was posted about 10 or 11 hours ago. Go back and watch that. So, um, just jumping back in. So Mama D posted that video basically saying Bambi was a fraudster and was committing Medicaid fraud. Um, obviously, Bambi, Bambi didn't like that. So she had um, some choice words for Mama D, which is hmm, a little bit concerning being that, um, you know, at this point, they have no respect for each other. That's pretty much what it is. These two have no respect for each other. And you would think, you know, by them being family that they would, you know, be able to agree to disagree. But the disrespect between these two are real. So let's just jump into um, what um, Bambi had to say um, in response to Mama D's um, video. So here we go. Oh boy. So this is what Bambi had to say. And it's on my screen. So hopefully you guys um, can see it. I'm going to read it for you for all of you who are unable to see because I know it's kind of small. So let me just bring it up. I'm going to bring it up on my um on my computer because sometimes that stuff is too small for me to read too okay so bambi is saying and I, I have it up on the screen it says bambi responds to mama d after she brings up the hot tub um scene with benzino as i stated go back and look at my video from yesterday so basically mama d pretty much was saying bambi um, when she came on the show, she was in a hot tub with with, with Benzino. Benzino, which is true, at is ugh, I can't talk. As you guys can see on Bambi's response, they actually attached that video footage where she definitely was in the pool. Um, I'm sorry, the hot tub with Ben with Benzino. I cannot say his name today. So this is what Bambi had to say. 
She says, this was such a fun time of my life. Benzino, Benzino was always hella cool with me. I think y'all just don't like how he look. First of all, who said anything about the way Benzino looks? So this is her throwing shade at him. She said, she think we just don't like the way he looks. I mean, what's wrong with the way that he looks? I, I mean, whatever. She say, this is what Bambi is saying. I know it's hard to phantom being able to date without having S-E-X with people, but it's a real thing. It's on the screen, guys. Y'all can read it. She said, in over 10 years, nobody has seen me with anyone other than the person I was married to. So I'd never let a beep, y'all know what beep mean, with loose teeth or the internet make me feel bad for living my life. She said, so I'll never let a B, B, you know what that means, with loose teeth or the internet make me feel bad for living my life. This weird A lady is obsessed with me. Where was this energy for my mom when she was beating the brakes off yo? Hey, you know what that means. Wow. Talk about that. Pure example of a B getting her A beat and still won't shut up. Ooh, we. This is too much. Peels, liquor, and the internet is a volatile cocktail. I'm going to let the blogs grab this since you need some attention. Next time that too far out roll it up and smoke it <laughs> holiday heart deleting soon oh my goodness all i have to say is i don't even know what it would even feel like to be in such a volatile relationship like this is crazy so this is bambi's response to mama d just bees and all type of stuff so this is the thing though it's probably best or better that they are divorced because if this is how these people fight each other when they are mad how in the hell did they deal with each other when they were not mad this is crazy so that is bambi's response to mama b mama d she basically cussed her out and i mean mama d cussed her out too so listen that was a toxic relationship now i can say this when he was in a relationship with erica erica and mama d definitely had it out but erica's way of dealing with mama d was a lot different i don't believe i've ever saw erica get to the that type of um how can i explain it verbiage when speaking with her daughter's grandmother um so i, I believe the situation with erica there was a lot more respect i don't understand um you know the situation with brand um bambi why it just seems so volatile like it just seems Ooh, we, um, so let's, let's get on to Scrappy. Let's, let's jump on to Scrappy. Now we all know, I don't know, hopefully you guys follow the show. Um, so if you guys have been following the show, Scrappy just looked like he had gotten very depressed at a, you know, particular time. And I noticed he had lost a lot of weight, which could be a good thing. Maybe, you know, he was looking to lose weight. Um, but now just, you know, seeing how he is, interacting on the show he seems to be in a very um happy place but my concern is if he had to deal with that at home with the back and forth that just seems like it would be way too much so i'm glad that you know both of them have decided to move on hopefully um you know they can co-parent and have a better um you know co-parenting relationship because um, going back and forth and dealing with that all that cussing and you know cussing my mama out and my mama cussing you out that just seems like some crazy ish to even deal with so hopefully they're in therapy and they are healing mentally um and they are you know able to parent co-parent and maybe that's going to be a better relationship for everybody um because this seems crazy this seems absolutely crazy to me um, but let's jump into scrappy's response 
So here's Scrappy's response. And this is coming from the neighborhood talk. So thanks, you know, to the neighborhood talk for always being up on everything. Um, so Scrappy says, I live by my own codes because people like to switch the rules when it's convenient. Y'all heard that. He said he lived by his own rules and people like to switch the rules when it's convenient. Example, some people want to follow the rules when it works for them. When it's no longer working for them, they do whatever. I'm with you, Scrappy. I'm with you. He said, all I know is as long as I'm solid, everything is going to be good. So basically he's saying he's solid, everything is good, and everything is going to be good. Um he said, um, God code, move in silence and get the work done. Respect people even when they even when they disrespectful. That's how I do. No need to clap back nor send a warning. I let God do it because he do it so nice. You see, you you should see the enemy when they fold. L O L. I just pray for him and to actually think people want you to be hurt and bothered, but I've been there, done that. And that part of me died with my last situation. Be blessed. So this is the thing though. This is coming from, you know, somebody that's really, really hurt. You know, this message, um, that Scrappy has posted. I don't know. Um, I would imagine, you know, Bambi is dealing with the same thing, um, but he is really expressing his hurt here. Um, and I would imagine that, you know, it's excruciating to have, you know, his mom, who I'm sure he loves, and then, um, you know, his ex-wife, who he had some love for at some part of time, at some moment in time to just see that all be shattered. And you guys got to go back and look at my previous video um, Bambi had revealed some things about him on social media that I'm sure, you know, kind of broke his heart when she, um, and you guys can go search this online. She secretly recorded him. And then when she got upset with his daughter, she actually shared the recording, which to me would be heartbreaking, um, to be in a relationship with somebody and share some intimate information or whatever information I'm sharing. And then to not find out that you actually recorded me that that's a lot. Um, so I'm sure they, you know, both hurt each other. Um, but I, that's, this is just, um, scrappy expressing himself and, um, you know, how he's intending to move forward with his life. So I'm glad that, um, you know, they have both decided to move on. That's probably the best for everybody. Um, they, I'm sure they can be better co-parents just, you know, living separately than they were um, in a relationship because relationships don't work with everybody. And just because you have children by a person does not mean that you're going to be able to work in an amicable one or well, a, a amicable two parent household. OK, so moving on. <sighs> moving on to this, this chick, Erica, 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 Erica. I mean, if you guys have watched that last episode of Loving Love and Hip Hop, Erica was all in scrappy face, all on top of the chair, um, screaming, telling him what a horrible person he was. And then she later probably thought about what she said. And she basically stated that um, she felt like... Um, you know, she was dealing with Safari when she was talking to um, Scrappy, which we all saw it. So we kind of thought the same thing. But the issue here is, um, Erica, um, when you're an adult and you're a real grown adult, you take responsibility for your actions, right? And in taking responsibility um, for your action, you go to the person that you hurt and you apologize. Like that's how that works. So you um, at basically attack Scrappy all in his face, yelling and screaming as if he did not have feelings. And Scrappy actually said, Erica, 
I knew you before you knew Bambi. I thought we were cool. I thought that you would have given me the benefit of the doubt of the doubt as you have given her the benefit of the doubt. And Scrappy was, you know, he really expressed himself. He said, um, you know, I was with you. You know, I stood by you when you and Scrappy, I'm sorry, when you and Safari was going through it, I listened to you. I went to him and said, hey, what you're doing is not right. So what Scrappy was telling Erica is when you guys, when you went through it with Scrappy, he could have took Scrappy side too. But what, what um, Scrappy said is, I was open. I heard you. Um, I listened to you. And I went to him for the things that I felt as though he was doing wrong. And she, he, Scrappy even said in a lot of this, you know, situation with Erica and Safari, Scrappy said, I took Erica's side. He said, because a lot of what she was saying was correct. So what Scrappy was looking for, for from you, Erica, is to be the friend to him as he was to you. Um, but you seem like you have a problem with friendships um, and you just don't know how to be a friend. You seem to be a very nasty person. Um, and your, your husband, well, your ex-husband has said the same thing about you. He said when he met you, you were a different person. So I would probably suggest, Erica, that you get you a mental health mental health therapist that can help you through your emotions and your anger and your rage because jumping in another man's face yelling at him and then when he get on top of the table to you know be level i and try to talk to you then you call him a b-i-t-c-h so that is just not good like you cannot you know talk to people and treat people any type of way and expect to be respected if you're acting ignorant how do you expect to be treated um you know if you're acting ignorant it is not that the way that you should be treated i'm confused so erica we need you to get your ish together because we sick of it since you came to reality tv you've been acting like a fool at what point do you grow up erica what point now on to Sierra. Sierra girl, we sick of you too. First and foremost, your entire storyline is about rela a relationship with a man. But this is the thing, you can't keep a relationship with a man. Every man that you are in a relationship with, for some reason it comes to an end. But the redundant part about all of your relationships is it's always something wrong with the man. So that leads me to this point. It must be you because how is it you, which is the con common denominator in all of your relationships, never work out? I feel like your entire storyline is about a man and about you being proposed to, which I don't even know if that's real or fake because you never get married. Then you run off like your current boyfriends is stating you're the runaway bride. Then you run off and then you tell us all the bad, this bad stuff about your boyfriend or your fiance. So my issue with you, sweetheart, you can't keep a man. You can't keep your relationship together. And you're all in Bambi and Scrappy's business. I feel like you should be more concentrated on your business and what is going on with you mentally to the point where you cannot keep a relationship, but you find all these things wrong about the man, but you don't want to hear the wrong things that's wrong about you. So I feel like, you know, uh, Sierra, you may be a bit of a narcissist and you want to deflect everything that you do and make it someone else's issue. I feel like yelling, you know, in Scrappy's face, y'all are miserable and y'all are all in this bag of misery. And then you're projecting all of your misery onto Scrappy. Um, and I feel like that's just unacceptable. So this is how Sierra plays into the madness. And for you all, again, who have not watched my video, go back and watch my video from yesterday. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. 
um because i do read the comments be respectful don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always i will see y'all in the next video talk to you later